Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we got a triangle ABC as you can see in this diagram such that this point M is the midpoint of this line segment AC and moreover this point N is the midpoint of this line segment DB and furthermore this line segment a B is uh, 24 units and this line segment uh, C D is 18. Now we are going to calculate this distance uh, M N. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular M P. P is a some point on this uh, line segment AD. So let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular MP. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And we could also see that this smaller triangle APM and this bigger triangle ADC are similar triangle according to angle angle similarity property since this angle and this angle they are 90 degrees each and they share this same angle this angle A is in common and here's our next step we can see that this line segment MP and this line segment CD they are parallel since they are making this 90 degrees angle each then we conclude that uh, this point P is the midpoint of this line segment uh, AD according to mid segment theorem. And now let's recall this mid segment theorem which is right up here. In a triangle the line segment uh, joining the midpoints of any two sides will be parallel to the third side and half its length as you can see illustrated in this uh, diagram. Now let's go ahead and apply this mid segment theorem to our this given problem and we can see that this line segment MP is the half of this uh, line segment CD and we know our uh, length CD is 18. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So MP equals to a half times 18 so that means our this side length MP turns out to be 9 units. So thus our this line segment MP turns out to be 9 units. And now here's our next step. We know that point P is the midpoint of this line segment AD. So that means if I call this line segment AP as a lowercase a length then this uh, line segment PD is going to be lowercase a as well and likewise this uh, point N is the midpoint of this line segment uh, DB. So if I call this line segment uh, this one B then this line segment is going to be B as well. And now we know that this whole line segment AB is 24 and that is equal to the sum of all these line segment A plus this A and then plus this B and then plus this B once again. Therefore we can write A plus A is 2A plus B plus B is 2B equals to this whole total length is 24. Now we know that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board. Let me go ahead and divide by 2 each and every term. So that means our A plus B value turns out to be 12 units. Now let's focus on this triangle MPN and this side length PN is going to be A plus B and we know A plus B is 12 so that means this side length turns out to be 12 units. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle MPN and we want to find the length 
M N and now we know that this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and here in our case uh, this longest leg this hypotenuse mn is going to be our side c and our other sides of this triangle are 12 and 9 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so our we got this one 12 square plus uh, 9 square equal to this uh, m n whole square or this is equal to 225 equal to m n square so now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides so this uh, square and square root uh, they undo each other so that means our length m n turns out to be square root of 225 is 15 and we are going to pick positive 15 since we are dealing with the length so thus our line segment uh, m n turns out to be 15 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye